Okay, here's a quick simple video to show you how to clone your WordPress website using your cPanel with the WP Toolkit or the WordPress management link. So assuming you've logged into your cPanel, you're gonna head over to the WordPress management. Now, if your website wasn't installed using the WP Toolkit, that's okay because we can just press, uh, you can see on this website here, it hasn't been, so I'm just gonna press scan and we'll wait here until it detects any WordPress ins installations in this account. So this may take a little moment. Scanning for WordPress websites. Okay, so there it is. It's found the website and there is um, a sort of a summary of, of the website there at the moment. So all we really need to do is press the clone button here. So this is gonna be useful if we want a staging version of the website or development version where you can test out a few things. So I'm just gonna press clone. It's gonna bring up this other screen here. Uh, now it'll pick a subdomain, it'll create it for you on the fly, which is great. Um, staging, sure, let's go with that. And you can change the database um, username, uh, the, the database name there if you want, it's gonna generate one. Um, and that's fine in this case here. So I'm just gonna press create. Now a couple of things, you do need to make sure there is enough space on your server to do this. And if it's a brand new site, uh, most hosting accounts are gonna be fine. And you have to make sure your hosting account also allows you to create multiple databases. And in this case, we've already checked all that. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to do this because it's copying files and uh, from one folder to another, but it shouldn't take too long. So now it's gonna copy the database, which shouldn't take as long as the files. And then it's updating the configuration files. And just keep in mind too, it will update all the relative URLs to this new subdomain. So browsing around this staging version of your website should keep you there, but always keep an eye on that URL up the top just to make sure it hasn't jumped back into your live site. Okay, done. All right, so there's our original site there. And, uh, well, actually, no, yeah, yeah, that was our original site there because there's the URL. And here is the cloned website. So a couple of things I will do just quickly is I will uh, make sure that search engine indexing is turned off. And uh, if your website is not ready for public viewing, disable this option to make sure your search engines do not show your website list of search results. Usually you're not gonna want this shown in search results, so leave that there. Uh, let's turn on debugging because this is our um, staging site. And let's turn on uh, password protection. And that will that's an extra bit of assurance that Google can't crawl it. is just for our developers and let's generate a uh, password that's great and press protect Not yet. okay uh, so another thing you can do uh, so you can log straight into this new um, development site from here and give people access if you click the setup uh, link here you can actually uh, manage the administrator's details right here. So if you, if you did want to want to change that, um, that that allows that within here. We're not going to change anything here for the moment. 
And so that's all done. So then you can open the new staging website from here and you'll need to put in that password and username that you set up there to be able to view the site. And that's uh, pretty much all there is to it.